Make sure that you have it in frame. Okay, he's here. I need to go here. From his living room, John Waldron recounts his Friday night walk at Chambers Bay Golf Course. I go down there twice a week. Always bring a camera because the sun sits down there, you know, and the scenery is just gorgeous. But on that night, when he looked to the skies, he saw a low flying plane doing flips. I grabbed my phone and uh, started to record everything. So here's the beginning of the video right here where he, uh, he had just started the loop. When he came down, out of that loop over the golf course, that's when I really, that's when it hit me and, and, and the comment came out. What the hell is this guy doing? John kept recording. Somehow, by the grace of God, he recovered out of the loop that he went into, um, but he looked like he was going, going to uh, actually head right toward where I was at, so I was prepared to run. He says the pilot pulled the plane up into a steep climb and headed towards Stillicum, wings vertical. Then John lost sight of it. Maybe 10 or 15 seconds later, I saw a quick, small orange flash and a puff of smoke, and then I really knew something wasn't right. Uh, but I, I had no idea what I had just witnessed. It wasn't until he was back home that he saw the news about a stolen Horizon plane with Richard Russell, an airline employee behind the controls. No one else on board. It's like, oh my God, I just saw a plane crash. And I have video, I need to get this posted. This is, could be an important you know, thing for the, uh, you know, whoever investigates this to, to have. His post on social media has now been viewed again and again by people all over the world, but it's Russell's family that John thinks about most. Um, I would also hope that it would help bring closure to the family, you know, because I, I think they would want to know what happened, you know, before their son um, lost his life. In University Place, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.